Hello, Gemini. This is going to be your third party reading for July. I hope you're doing well. We're going to get right into it. On the left, you will have the Gemini, you. If you're in a third party situation, if you're in a third party situation, this may resonate with you. So you're going to want to look at your energy here on the left. Your party facilitator will be in the middle, the person who's putting you in the third party situation, and their other party will be on the right. Okay, so that's how we're going to do the first spread as normal. Please make sure you comment on this and hit the like button for me. I would greatly appreciate that. All right. What's going on with the Gemini? Eight of Cups. Gemini. Third party situations. Let me go ahead and put these out. Oh, some of y'all are heavily done with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, definitely done with somebody who's uh, very much in love with you or definitely emotionally available, emotionally into you. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Judgment card. Okay, so this is someone coming back from your past, Gemini, someone that you haven't dealt with in a, in a while. Um, coming back to either offer reconciliation or commitment here. This person definitely has a lot of anxiety surrounding around you. Um, they have a lot of anxiety surrounding around you. Um, with the Nine of Swords, or stress. They may be missing you and upset that they can't speak with you for some reason, but they very much like you, okay? They want to come back. They want to speak to you. They want to um, at least figure out if you guys are able to move forward or not. You have the Emperor here, have the Knight of Cups. Uh, no, let me put that here. Emperor goes here, sorry. Then the Knight of Cups, Fool card, Ten of Wands, Lover's card, Ace of Swords, High Priestess. So um, there's definitely a relationship that they're willing to walk away from um, with the High Priestess here. Um, there may also, they may also be talking to you in secret or keeping secrets from this person with the emperor card here. Um, this person seems to like to want to control situations. Sorry about that. My camera went out. Um, okay. So, um, maybe they've come to the realization that they really do want to be with you. Um, this could also be another Gemini or an Aries. Okay, it's definitely somebody who looks like to me that was born in maybe spring, but whatever. Um, let's see, why is, because the Ten of Wands is here, so it's telling me that they're ready to be done with this person here. They're, they want something new. They want to be away from this person. They want to move on. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, they're missing you. Incoming call. Sorry, I have a call coming. <laughs> All right, so um, basically here with the Ace of Swords, that's telling me that they may have come to the realization that they miss you, um, that they want to be with you. So let's see here. Let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb because I'm not stopping this video. So whoever is calling me, just got to wait. Um, let's see. Oh, look at you, Gemini. With the Judgment card. Let's see why the Judgment card is here. The Judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Four of Pentacles wanted to come out. Judgment card. Three, two, one. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to come back and start something new with you. Okay? They want to start something new. They want something solid with you. At least within the next year or so, they want to build something solid with you. But they definitely want something new with you right now. And I feel like they will be coming back. To try to manifest something with you and they're willing to walk away from this relationship here okay gemini so beware of a water sign maybe an earth sign i don't know someone coming back from the past that really misses you really wants to be with you mm -hmm. um they may have thought that this other relationship was huh. better um but uh clearly it's not okay so let's hurry up and get this other side done before people keep calling me and i get upset all right Let's see. For people being put in third party relationships by Geminis. 
who are being put in third party relationships by Gemini's. The Gemini will be in the middle as a party facilitator. Um, the either party will be on the left and the right. Okay. Let's see. Gemini's that are being put in third party situations. Or no, sorry, people that are being put in third party situations by Gemini's is what I mean. The cross watchers, this is their time. being put in third party situations by Gemini's. People being put in third party situations by Gemini's. Three, two, one. All right, so we had three cards like freaking run out of here. There's that nine of swords again. Uh, Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, Moon card. A lot of uncertainty surrounding this Devil card. Gemini, in the in the Gemini in the situation feels trapped. They feel stuck in a relationship that they don't want to be in, pretty much. Nine of Cups, Ten of Wands again, Fool card. Why does the same cards keep coming out? Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. So, um, the Gemini is obviously in a third party situation. Um, they're holding on to this relationship here, even though they want to let it go here. The Ten of Wands is telling me that they want to let it go, but they're holding on to this one as well. But the funny thing is, this is the more seemingly stressful relationship. I wonder why the Ten of Wands is here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? They may feel that you're ready to let it go. If you're dealing with a Gemini um, and you've given them an ultimatum, maybe you're tired of the um, back and forth between them. Could You could be a Leo or an Aries, maybe a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Two, one. Five of Cups. Two of Wands. So yeah, someone is tired of the juggling. Someone is tired of the um, being being with two people. Okay, so um, I really feel like the Gemini may walk away from this relationship here. There's a lot of uncertainty here, a lot of stress, a lot of secrets. They may be lying to this person um, about you, whether you're the Aries, the Pisces, the Cancer, or Scorpio. They want a new beginning with you, so they're not willing to let you go. The Gemini is not going to let this person go. They see a future with this person. They see this as something that they've been in for a while, but it needs to end. Okay. Um, yeah, it needs to end. They're not happy here. They're not happy here with the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They want to be here in this relationship. Not only do they feel bound in this relationship, but they are, again, the, also the person um, facilitating the third party. So, um, for some reason, maybe because they're married to this person, maybe because they have children with this person, they're stable with this person, they're holding on to this person, um, but they really want to be with you over here. Okay, why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Three, two, one, two of swords, judgment. So yeah, they're going to be coming. This may be also someone coming back. You going... The Gemini could be going back to somebody that they um, were no longer speaking with as well. Because the Six of Pentacles is telling me that there may have been a conflict with this person, a falling out, um, because this person may have been tired of the juggling. So they may be going back um, to somebody that they left in the past or also, and also making the final decision on this relationship to leave it. Okay? So if you're waiting on a Gemini to make a decision on their sta a stable relationship, they may be doing that this month and moving towards you. Knight of Cups here, offering love, okay? Offering a new beginning, okay? Marriage, stability. They ain't letting you go, okay? So don't think you're going to get away from this Gemini, okay? Because they want you. All right, so I am going to go ahead and shut the video down, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonates with you. If it does, please comment below, like, and share it. Um, if you need a personal reading for your third-party situation, please be feel free to check out the website, uh, harleysworld13.com, okay? Bye, guys.